be very careful in that area, okay? I think we'd all feel safer if that plague heart were history. But to pull that off, we'll need strong allies by our side. I like the idea of building an alliance, especially if they have good stuff to trade. I like our neighbor just fine, but we shouldn't count on outsiders. If we build the tools we need ourselves, we won't have to rely on other people for help. Yes. We don't know for sure if plague deaths are created by the heart or just attracted to it. But if we leave this one alone, it's only a matter of time before one of us catches blood plague. I'd heard rumors about these things. Never seen one myself. Right, oh. Hello everyone and welcome to the Hawks Let's Play Beginner's Guide for State of Decay 2. They'd like to talk a lot. Um, we can make our thingy magolis here. We do have ammunition so that works. However, I'd rather not do that myself. I'd rather buy that from uh, the... Uh, Encampment that we got nearby. Let's push E here. Make this into sleeping quarter. I think you'll understand why later. Oh, she needs to sleep. Let's head for this. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? Muy bien. Yes, because I dropped them. building materials yeah we could actually need more building materials you are correct um, that's it you probably won't be needing anything other than sleep let's pick one of you two up you're the medic right Take control. Yeah, you take it easy there, girl. Scream. <clears throat> I hate screamers. Yes, don't we all? Don't need that many. Okay, that's for my primary. What do we have bag wise? There we go. Once you are at the stage in the game, like I am right now, and you want to go and hunt plague hearts, actually I wouldn't be bringing a crossbow then. I would probably bring something heavier pew pew. Let's see if we got any heavier pew pew. We got it done. Yeah, that's going to be better. Might as well bring those. <clears throat> Just 
space to climb over an obstacle. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Trade with someone to get something. This is the plague territory, so I better watch out for plague zombies. I will uh, jump out of the car here. No more deadheads, but that won't last long in plague territory. No, that won't be doing it. I don't see any plague heads right now. I could bring one of them along for the ride. The problem is that bringing them along for the ride have a tendency to make sure that they die because they are not very hey neighbor, smart. I just finished making a batch of explosives. Plenty of bang for the buck. Yes. Love to bite. You know, okay. these explosives would be just the thing for killing that plague heart. Thanks. These should be useful. Our neighbor was kind enough to share some of their explosives with me. Having a solid trading partner can make a big difference out here. We'll bring that along as well. Trading with our enclave uses a currency called influence. You earn influence by completing goals, trading and helping other players. Spend influence by items, outposts, trade commands and new bases. Haru. I don't know if I should Hello. bring her or not. I hope the plague zeds haven't given you too much trouble. I was hoping you'd ask. Thanks. Feels good to work together on this. I don't really like it, but let's go and do this. Just going to drop this off the car. We'll search this since we're running past it anyhow. Hello there, girl. Not bad, but not great either. Yeah, just dropping this off since we got it on us. <clears throat> once you face uh, Plague Heart, once you've gone as far as you want to do that. Which might be a silly thing to want to be doing now, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. What you need to do is to clear the area around it. And make sure that you don't... Want to check that place out. You want to check what place out? Yeah, they have a tendency to do silly things. <clears throat> so I really don't like to have them as followers. But since this is a tutorial mission, I hope it will work. I'd rather not drive in here, because if you drive around, you have a tendency to fiddle a lot with uh, them zombies and you have a tendency to wake stuff up it doesn't really matter now though getting close you can tell by the red haze and the plague zeds of course mm -hmm. what I usually do is 
I usually make sure that I build different people for different things and to have this dude I would not go for uh, a full on assault on plague hearts with him I wouldn't build him for that he'd probably be staying at home as a medic you can see that this is the plague place I was about to say because of the thingy that's over the building but there isn't anything over this building and who you can see that this is the place anyhow and that is the play heart you see through the window there you're not in any kind of rush here until this you this place is hotter than a damn sauna actually go for the play heart So let's start by relieving this place of zombies. That's exactly what I mean. That won't work. Come on, let them come out. Then we will either you hit it with a spade. Almost there. Can't let it now. There. That's when it explodes like that. When it starts to bleed. Fire in the hole! Oh shit. I need a break. Or you throw dynamite at it. No more of that. Jesus. That's another one down. Finally secure a few of these buildings. I'm beat. I should rest soon. I'd really appreciate some help getting back home. Uh-huh. That's good to hear. Good work. What am I still carrying on my back? Heavy damn load. That's a nice sort of shotgun. It's a uh, one that you can have in your uh, uh, first slot there. So that's a really nice one. I'm gonna switch the two of you. Unfortunately, I left that one, but I'll come back for this later. Yeah, I threw the grenade, the first grenade I threw like right at where I was standing and the second grenade I uh, thought I'd just toss at the doorway instead of actually at the plague heart. Now the thing that happens when the plague heart dies, when you kill the plague heart, is that every plague zombie in the vicinity is going to get killed it's like a hive mind it's like in starcraft 2 when you kill one of the hearts when you kill the last heart and all the insects die or something i don't know it works like a hive mind anyhow <clears throat> that is what it does f like forever Ever, ever, ever. So either you go up and slap it like I did, or you toss the grenade and miss. 
Now she helped out with hitting the plague heart while I was thinking, oh, let's make sure that we clear the place first. By taking out that plague heart, you really showed us what you're made of. We're impressed by what you've done here. We'd like to visit the base and talk about the future. Trust can be hard, but sounds like a good first step. All right, lead the way. I'm right behind you. That's nice. See if we can do this without them being silly. Looks like that shut him up. Yep, that surely shut him up. Let's run down here. Finally clearing out one of those plague hearts is a big first step. Yes, it is. I had a feeling this was all a bit too easy. Most of town is crawling with plague sets. It's really bad. Believe me, other towns have it worse. Since, Settle down, let's go! Since this is a part of the... Uh, sorry. Uh, this is still a part of the tutorial place. Otherwise they would not have uh, joined us this fast. Okay, I did not relieve myself of that one. Uh, deposit. Deposit, deposit. Put that away. Rescue knife. There we go. I brought our neighbors over, but it's not exactly a social call. Wait till you hear what they know about blood plague. There are plague hearts all over town. But if we work together, we could clear them out. I don't mean to be rude, but we barely know you. An alliance feels a bit premature to me. I disagree. In fact, I think we'd be better off if our two groups joined into a single community. Whoa, slow down, kid. What happened to the idea of just being friendly trading partners? I think it's only polite to ask our neighbors what they want. We can't make the choice for them. I'm serious about that offer to join you here. We think you should join us. We're the strongest one community. Good call. I think this will work out well. I'll see you when I see you. So far, we've been surviving by the skin of our teeth. It won't last. We gotta figure out a plan before our luck runs out. And that plan has to come from somebody in charge. Each survivor personality determines what type of leave they become. The four leader type each unlock their own unique facilities and mission. Try sheriff, try the sheriff, warlord, builder, and trader leader to learn what they offer. The only way we last is by building trust with other communities out here. If I were leading this group as your trader, this would be my first and only priority. It's just common sense. A trader believes in trust and generosity, even in, a, even in the apocalypse. They inspire to create a network of friendly enclave that support one another. They can construct trade depot and advance still and biggest farm. Sweet. Let's talk to you then. What I'm worried about is other people and what they're capable of. You want a warlord in charge who's willing to make calls no one else wants to. That's me. A warlord trusts and values the people in their community over all others. They believe only 
those with strength and value to, to the team earn survival. They can build an army plus more advanced barracks and fighting gyms. Best one I like. This may not surprise you, but I have some thoughts. As your sheriff, my number one thing would be making this town safe for everyone. A sheriff believes in defending everyone in town and takes risks to help others. They do not tolerate raiders or thieves and will fight them if necessary. They can build field hospital and more advanced launches and shooting ranges. What are you then? I think what we need is a safe, methodical approach to survival. If I were our leader, I'd be a builder and make sure we didn't depend on anyone but us. A builder believes in security and absolute self-reliance. The Inspire Table to provide for a large, prosperous community. They can construct sniper towers plus advanced generators and barracks. Then I should pu push M for my story goals. Who should lead? Or promote a leader? I'm not really sure, but I don't think that anyone is at the stage yet where they can be become a leader. Citizen, recruit. Recruit, citizen, recruit. Let's pick someone else for a change to take care of the business. Chemistry. Okay. You can see here the different traits they've got. If you are together with other people, you have a tendency to sh talk about yourself and they will show and give more of the other skills. I meant show what kind of uh, skills you have. Let's I hate to bring this up, but it's time we found a more permanent home. With a larger base, we'd be able to really settle down. The good news is that we can pack up and bring everything along when we move. Nothing will get lost. Hello there. Hey, I think I saw a nasty-looking zombie out by the ranger station. If anybody felt like playing hero, they could take it down before it wanders over here. Taking a risk for the team is a great way to earn some respect. If we can keep going like we have been, I think we'll be all right. I think you're right. I'm going to start by running all the way up here. Make sure that I have everything. Yeah, I've probably been here already. It's been a few days since I played the last uh, Survivor Shenanigan. Those would be beds. We should actually be uh, making this a little bit bigger, methinks. Although I shouldn't be doing that right now because it costs six building materials. And I only got seven. 
So uh, let's make that our top priority to go out and fix building materials and we also need to change that one methinks. Wait a minute, does she have any weapons on her? No. Well, she's got any weapon on her. Hey, we've been robbed. Stop that thief. Okay. We do not let this happen again. Understood? Then we bring it a little bit more intimidating things. Who am I supposed to talk to? Warlord, catch a thief. I've got it. Okay, so you got the thiefy rony thingy. Yes, start that mission. Let's start by picking you up. We also would like to have some medicine, maybe. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, talk to Mace to see what she knows about the thief. That's Nicole. You are Anna. You're precious. You're very precious. Um, are you Mace? No, you're Olvero or something. Mace, that's you. I will let people take from us. I will never end. I'll handle the thief. Don't do anything stupid. Why would I do anything stupid? In these missions you can either shoot the hell out of that person or you can be nice. Hand over the goods and no one gets hurt. Here. We need that food. I don't want to hurt you, but my people come we first. We don't need violence here. Might as well search it since we're here. The day gets a little better. will slap you in. Uh, when I'm going on missions like I'm about to do with this girl, I usually don't bring guns. I usually bring a crossbow. A crossbow is ve very lovely to have. Because it does not make any sound when it kills stuff. And it also gives you a lot more plague Something. samples. Boxes of seeds. I'm 
that's more food that's very nice I love food except right now I'm carrying a backpack wait a minute I might as well bring that one Yoink. Since I'm playing at a lower level, uh, this is very easy and uh, I find a lot of loot. If you play on the uh, hardest difficulty, then uh, you won't find this amount of loot uh, when you're playing. And in all honesty, I think that's a little bit better, which sounds odd, but... Uh, Today I'm playing at this, playing it this way. Ooh, that's an improvised suppressor. Let's waltz into this place as well, since we're here already. Okay, this area is clear. That's a very nice skill book that you use when uh, a character don't have five skills. Hello there. This place out. Four to five caliber rounds. Those are very nice. They make a lot of noise, however. Nothing else exciting around here. I'm just making sure that I'm clearing these places. The thing that you need... Gonna fit. Right. I don't know why... There's a group of arms dealers nearby. Their selection is huge, but the prices are high. Maybe we should check it out. Let's do this. Huh. I'm all ready for luck. It's another food stockpile. We'll run with this to the car and then we drive up and talk to Precious and see what she thinks about this. Usually they are against it and one is for it. Decoy. Never used that before as a decoy. Let's drive and talk to Precious. Suppressor is good for the weapon I'm using, so I could have put.
put that in. Don't forget about all those plague hearts we need to take care of. Nope. A summon still in Province Ridge Post Office calling themselves the Free Folk. They've got a huge cache of weapon, most likely stolen. Thanks for the <laughs> intel. All right. <clears throat> that is past this place, which is a play territory. And since it's red here, there's probably a plague heart here somewhere. Anywho, that's where I'm going. Let's see, do I have what I want? I would love to have that suppressor on this weapon. There we go. Since I usually don't use weapons, I like them to be silent when they are. Might as well bring fuel as well. Fixing the car and refueling it. Since you see there in the top left corner that you, you won't fill it up to full with the kind of gasoline you got, then there's no worries to fill it up. Because it's not like you're going to use the fuel for other things right now. I was also thinking about saying that you should probably go for one of these outposts. Base. Abandon that one. Not seeing anything useful in here. Then claim this one instead. Cause food is ready for action. Will always be needed. Where a little more work might pay dividends. Especially now that we took in those other people. I'm trying to not drive into other zombies. It's a nice car that I should be aiming for later. Hello there, Sumble. And yes, that is my mission later, to take care of them. You heard that scream there? That's from a feral. Feral is <clears throat> one of the most hated thing in this game because they have a tendency to kill people a lot. Can't say that I love ferals either.
This is the base. That place could be good. But they want me to move too. stop out here that's in decent shape lots of space it's even got an auto shop where we could repair our cars we are enough people now so we could actually take over this base Bunch of dead people. You don't know me yet, but you really want to come out and meet up with me. How about it? It's a trader. Gonna check from where that trader is. Wandering trader. Yeah, she's from the network. She's a barter trader. <clears throat> With some work, this could be a good home for us. Now we switch base a little bit quickly there. We are lacking four beds. We will clear that room. Once you pass a tutorial, you can decide how you want to play. Random mission pops up regularly, but whether to pursue them is up to you. Destroy plague hearts to reclaim the map and progress the campaign story. Yes. Let's continue with this mission that we were on. You got the sniper tower there, that's where that person is standing and shooting right now. Speaking of which, let's actually grab that shotty. Okay, so that's still on that person then. Never mind then. The reason why I build those beds that fast is because 
If they don't have beds, they're very angry. Now we're going to drive into Plague Hearts. Plague Territory. And they will have heard when I came with my car there. And they will go for the car. They won't know where I am though. Now we might as well upgrade that. <clears throat> By upgrading it we can later upgrade it again and then hopefully uh, Hopefully upgrade it again so we got four beds in one there. I'm just taking these out. The thing is in this game you need to take it easy. And you need to, like, don't panic. <laughs> right now I'm just clearing these so I may go up in this tower and check it out. Now she's done so many things, so she's tired now. I will, however, finish this mission with her before going to bed. Won't be the one hearing me up here, so I guess Glad I can that. hire that up. That is what I call a good outpost location. It looks like it's awake. Now that is a sweet ride. These are a lot of uh, cabins and stuff. Cabins have a tendency to have uh, crossbows in them. Ah, oh, there's a lost. It looks odd that that's... No, that's a sleeping plague heart. Don't know why I did that. That was very silly. I had some extra time on my hands, so I scavenged a couple of things. Materials should be running kind of low in, on base. What you need to think about now again is that you are driving through a plague territory. If you run into a screamer, make sure you don't make him mad at you. And these don't really mind. 
matter, I meant. You can just drive, as long as you just drive past them like that. As I said, they're going for the car, but I was clumsy enough to walk towards her. If you want weapons, you got to pay the market price. <laughs> no way in hell, kid. Interested in trading? I don't see why not. That's my friends are a very interesting gun. The Special Ops SMG. The thing is that, oh, these are very nice. C4 charges is very nice when used on a Plague Heart. And these landmines are also nice. I gotta drop this off soon. Okay, I thought I finished by trade with them. <laughs> How's it going? It's not good. You seem all right. I guess you can come in. Let's drive home. I'm apparently lagging a bit. Materials. So who's in charge here anyway? Somebody said we needed supplies. That leads me to the next one. Next point. Let's throw these in. Might as well throw those in, put that on me. Since I'm not going for uh, play hard right now. Uh, no, I'm going for materials. <clears throat> and I'm thinking materials are going to be over here. What you could be doing is that you could check the map. Watching here, this is probably meds and this is also meds. 
that might contain materials. So let's go there. And what you saw there on the way there is a, a guy that blows up. Gonna take care of him on the way. Right. I'm not going to take care of him on the way. I'm going to go to sleep with this girl. Let's take care of Anna. Okay. Let's see bags. Got a seven slotted one there. PPK. Again, there's different uh, snap, different kind of uh, weapons here. This is a sniper one. I think that's the correct one. One of them uh, is uh, one of them uh, weapons will uh, mulch the arrows a lot easier. Can I see a uh, Duda somewhere here? Well, beggars can be choosers. No, he's much more to the right. I'll have a peek in here and see if there's anything of interest. Hello. <laughs> and yeah, always I help a lot. Always let it like a pack mule. Let it go through very slowly. This is what the doctor ordered. have a place where I fit in. Okay. Let's check that one. Wandering Trader we won't be able to catch, but this one we can. Talk to Olvero.
He's up there. Then we put the, all of these back and let Olvero take over. We call. Let's do this. Okay, we have to hit this problem head on. We shouldn't do that. Okay. If you want to help these people, don't screw around. Go in guns blazing. I had this aunt who lived somewhere around here and fancied herself a survivalist. I wonder if she made it this long. Yeah, they're going to throw missions at you right now. We don't take nearly enough chances around here. Mass, I need. I don't need to talk to. Cause she doesn't give a damn. Don't do this, we should risk our necks of strangers. Society can't return to normal. We're going unless... to get hurt one day trying to take care of everyone. Oh, the occupant is right outside here. Ah, that's my aunt. That's another quest altogether. There we go. Gotta watch out for plague zombies around here. Jesus. Finish that one. As long as they finish them and I don't touch them, they sh I should be all right. Yo, 
ain't gonna want to hear this. I like how you think. Okay, your lead. Yeah, I'm just taking this, no worries. Do it like that for now, till I uh, make sure that my computer works as it should. Uh, let's push M and see where we're going. Going down there. The problem is that now that we do this, we are in plague territory. So we might run into a screamer any second. That's the kind of a horde. I should be following the road. Let's take this easy, see if they abide by that. Will you attack me now that I take this up? Damn, that's heavy. If you don't run, I will kill you. No oh, shit. No way. Oh no, not you two. Eliminate the hostile thieves. As you see, they are NPCs, so their guns doesn't make any noise whatsoever. That last one really left a mark.
Mission failed. Yeah, I was very low on health there. Thought they'd play nice since they said hello, no worries, take this. Damn it. That's not very good. That was a screamer. Fortunately, they did not say anything about Plague Heart waking up. Anywho, <clears throat> um, yeah, I'll uh, toss this guy in. Oh, dead zombie there. I'll toss this guy in. Her turn. Uh, anywho, <clears throat> trade left area. Um, over here, <clears throat> if we press U, I think that's a U. It's the button between T and U. No, that's a Y. A Y. If you press Y, you reach the radio. And in the radio you can find resources or other survivors. So let's say for example, what do we need? We need materials. Then we go down to materials. Can someone get on the radio to ask the neighbors where we can look for salvage? Then they're going to sh show us three different. Going to show us three different places. You know, I'm not usually into all that hippie shit, but the network's figured out how to make it work. So let's go there. And in one of these locations, it's going to be uh, that's a horde. That's the stupidest ever thing you can do there with a car, that is, of course. Hope I can get that car later, otherwise it's effed. Anywho, how? let's waltz on to the different plague tiles or material tiles I meant I gotta stay alert too many plague zombies around <sighs> As long as we are able to keep ourselves hidden, 
we won't stir the heart. And that's a screamer up there to the left. I'm gonna try to hit him from behind. Making sure that we don't get spotted by those on the outside. A little bit helps. To the victor go the spoils. That's it for now. I'm coming home. And that's how we find the materials. Bingo. Damn it. I have to leave that one. I'll take this bike home. And there's some out now. You saw that on the top left corner. Olivio recovered from whatever he was infected by. That's going to be happening. Once you're outside, a lot of the others are getting healed. People you're not using. Anywho, I'm just going to walk home with this. So I'll catch you on the flip side. Um, have a nice day. Bye bye.